Good afternoon everyone, I'm in a Hungarian train right next to Lake Balaton and even though visiting this lake it's quite out of season at the end of December it's not out of season for exploring old Soviet military bases and there should be one really close to the lake here so I'm going to try to find it and explore it Join me! Well, I've made it to the town of Balaton Almadi. This is the bus station here, and the bus should take us right next to the military base. All cities and towns around Lake Balaton seem to be starting their name with Balaton, so it can get a bit confusing. But this is Balaton Almadi, and the bus should stop right here. Well, I've made it to the town right next to which the base is located. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name. We should head somewhere in that direction and then there we'll find the military base the old soviet military base still quite a walk from the town we were just at along this long sandy road back there we're starting to see the base looks quite pretty in the sunlight it's starting to get a bit closer though we had to get through a little bit of brush but this seems to have been the fence of the base and there's a whole fence here so we're officially inside the old Soviet military base I think this base was built after the uprising of 1956 to station Soviet troops here in Hungary in case they get any more funny ideas well we kind of had to walk through a concrete plant to get to the military base which is right over there you can see the first building looming over the brush walking out of the concrete plant now and from here I think it should be easy to get in well here we are right next to one of the barracks I guess down here it's quite a trash heap it's not uncommon in these parts of the world just leave your trash in a place like this kind of unfortunate buildings do look really cool remnant of a different time remnant of the time when the Russians when the Soviets showed they were not here only to liberate but also to occupy you can tell it's quite a common place to visit this one every room every wall has some graffiti tag on it some very artistic ones and some less artistic ones to watch out though there's random holes in the floor like this one let's try to see how high we can get in this building if we can get on the roof maybe all the stairways The other barrack is right next to it. You can see this window here. Also full of graffiti, of course. This room seems to be the highest we can go. It's a top floor, then find a way to the roof. But we definitely have a lovely view here of the rest of the base, of the other barracks and of a few auxiliary buildings over there to the right. Between the buildings it's only like thick thick brush completely overgrown I bet it wasn't like this when it was still an active military base there isn't much left over from the original inhabitants of this place the Soviets you can see some of the original tiling there's a toilet flushing tank down here most of it has been taken away either by looters or by people taking souvenirs from this place from this room you can see that the people on the base had a view of Lake Balaton over there but that must have been a bit torturous to them because most people who were stationed at this base were not allowed to leave it so they could never go over there to the lake and go for a little swim this auxiliary building right here does have a little basement the other one didn't, they just had the ground floor see I'm pretty sure you, as the viewer, are not going to be able to see much down here because it's really, really dark. 
Oop, there's some tires in the way, which obviously you can't see. Some lovely decoration down here anyway. Some people had fun over here, I guess. There's some light coming in from a window over there, but it's not much. You can see this room in the basement right here. It's got bars on the window. I wonder who they would have kept down here, the Soviets. This building seems to have been some kind of officer's quarter or administrative building. There's a lovely balcony over here. Or perhaps the officers, the Soviet officers could have had a, a cigarette and they also decorated their quarters a bit more than the rest. You can see over here they put up a lovely poster to really give this place a tropical holiday vibe. They probably would have been the ones who were able to leave the base and go down to Lake Balaton and they didn't think Lake Balaton had enough palm trees so they put up some of their own place does start to repeat itself quite a bit you can see more of the same type of buildings it seems to be the officers quarters and those for the regular soldiers they all look exactly the same exactly the same design maybe we'll find something else behind here yeah I think I'm seeing something different over there well, this building looks like it was one of the more important buildings the base you can see it had a huge thatched roof that's now partially collapsed this is cool round window over there let's go inside and check it out of course it's got the classic two-tone wall painting you see in almost every soviet military base hospital school everywhere really green on the bottom white on the top over here you can see the stairway that leads to the collapsed roof of this building it wasn't constructed to last forever apparently it does look pretty cool like this to be honest really cool vibes i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed my visit to this place even though it's quite cold out here if you did Consider subscribing and I'll see you for my next video.